Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ransom, and for the first time ever, we have all three film reviewers reviewing a film at the same time. Hello. 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 <laughs> and it actually makes sense, because if you remember, Seth MacFarlane had the uh, Barbershop Quartet in the old Family Guys series. Today, we're talking about Ted. Now, is this going to be Seth MacFarlane at his best or Seth MacFarlane at his worst? You're watching The Vegas Dirt. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Dirt. I'm Ransom. Today we have Justin Webb here, and also uh, Dave is in here as well. Today we're talking about Ted. So basically this is about a childhood wish that comes true. Uh, John Bennett's teddy bear, Ted, comes to life, and they're having a great time until his girlfriend, Lori, kind of wants to make things uh, just a two-part show. There Seriously. comes a time where you have to grow up and you have to leave your childhood stuff behind. But what happens when your childhood stuff is your best friend? One thing I mentioned to you is I thought it was kind of like Howard the Duck, where I think the graphics were realistic enough that like you can see this movie in 30 years and not see that is like really bad graphics. The pop culture references will date itself, but not necessarily the teddy bear looking at it. You won't go, oh, that's like obviously... Yeah, the visuals in this movie are actually a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Mm-hmm. Just based off the commercials, I was like, all right, well, I'm not really sure how it's going to look on the big screen, but I'm happy to announce that it looks fantastic up there. Really so nice. I agree with you. I saw the Red Band trailer of this a couple months back. So, you know, you know it's directed by Seth MacFarlane. You, if you've seen the trailer, you know what, what kind of humor you're kind of getting yourself into, but you don't really know what to expect because for me, I just noticed that the trailer, everything they showed was kind of at the beginning of the movie, which I liked because then you don't know what else to anticipate throughout the whole movie. Yeah, speaking about trailers, it's been really hard to avoid the trailers. They've been all over the place on television, on the internet. And I'm happy to announce that unlike a lot of movies that show the best things in the trailers, this movie didn't. You know, there was so much that was left out and it's so much better because of that. Yeah, you know that you're going to like the movie or not, maybe based on the trailer, but you don't know how the movie's going to turn out. You don't know how it's all going to play out. It's not predictable at all. So It has a lot of Family Guy humor because it is Seth MacFarlane. And a lot of Family Guy actors are That's right. The film, yeah. So many cameos, and they even bring some of the Family Guy trends that you see in the show, and it kind of spills over a little bit. And if you're someone like, I was talking to Ransom, he was really paying attention, and there's certain cameos where you're, if you're a Adult Swim fanatic or you know, up late watching Family Guy, you're definitely going to notice some trends that spill over into Family Guy from this movie. This movie does a fantastic job at going to the limit in terms of comedy. I mean, they're making fun of things that they probably shouldn't be making fun of, but they find a way to make it funny. Yes, That's they great. do. Yeah. All right, so we're coming down to the verdict time, guys. What do you guys think? I'm going to give this movie a thumbs up. Even if you like Family Guy, like my girlfriend likes Family Guy, you might not be able to laugh just because you might be so overwhelmed with humor and things that you've never seen before that it'll take a while to sink in, but when it does, you're going to laugh. I definitely got to give it two thumbs up. I think it's made for uh, the comic book and video game generation, and you'll definitely enjoy that pop culture all those references just like you have in Family Guy it's still entertaining enough that if you don't understand all the references you'll still find it very funny the very beginning of this video we're talking about if this is going to be Seth MacFarlane at his best or at his worst you know as a Family Guy fan I know that lately his Family Guy series has kind of been down a little bit it's not as funny as American Dad but this film right here is definitely him at his best it reminds me of some of his earlier things the acting was spot on from everybody Uh, Mark Wahlberg was great Seth MacFarlane (laughs) fan Fantastic voice. Mila Kunis definitely hot. Oh, yeah, and she's hot too, so that's always a plus. But yeah, I mean, great performances all around. The comedy was there. The whole theater was just erupting with laughter. I have to give it a thumbs up. Absolutely go see this movie this weekend. And there's a Top Gun reference, which is always good. And if you're from Boston, you're going to love this freaking movie. Chowda.